No, I don't think it is. Oh, it's not? Um, this is Five Minute Bot, which is Arcturus, who's currently the leader on the ladder. I think he's against Ajax's bot. So no, this is great. We're gonna... <laughs> but yeah, we... good to go. Yeah, number one. Everyone good to go? Yep. yep. All right, countdown, push play. We'll leave it on faster. On three, two, one, go. Okay, so this bot, like, it doesn't even say good luck and have fun. Can we teach no. it to do that? Uh, actually, it did originally, but there is a bug um, within the uh, system, which means when you when you type something like GLHF, it just stays there forever. <laughs> uh, it's just so, like, oh, it's done. So I'm curious who uh, made the bot actually had that on, and I had to ask him to turn it off because it was just getting annoying. <laughs> like, was it, was it its bot or its opponent? Just assume that it's like, oh, it's done. Oh, no. I think, it, I think it was not itself. <laughs> oh man, so the BM bots are learning to be BM. It's over already. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's the first right. thing it learns, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in terms of Blizzard and Google's partnership, um, you know, has that really, how many, how much fruit has that borne for the rest of you guys in terms of uh, as hobbyists? Do you see a constant improvement or has this just been the announcement they've left you guys to your own devices are you guys getting constant updates like what's the, what's the... Uh, so they've, they've been okay like um we they're kind of fixing bugs when we come come across them um we've kind of like got the api out which is is really good to work with um so so yeah i mean they're they're interacting with the community which is a big thing we've yeah. got a few google people on there what um, about blizzard um yeah we've got a few blizzard people there as well um, mm -hmm. And the good thing is that they're always there to answer questions, to interact with the community. So, you know, it's uh, it's quite good. Um, the the updates are sometimes slow, but then you know we can't expect them to be on our case twenty four seven. You know, mm -hmm. so, um, like like uh, during the hiatus where you couldn't build add ons to Terran buildings when you were playing. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a rough time. Yeah, yeah, that was that was harsh for a while. Um, so that there, there was a bug where if you were the second player. Um, in the map, and you're playing Terran, you couldn't build add-ons to buildings. Um, <laughs> which, which kind of set the Terran players back a little bit, so we had to actually disable um, Terran bots from playing as a second player for a while. How did the how did the bot interpret that? Did it interpret it as like not being able to use a limb, or did it just like dismiss the concept altogether? No, it just kept trying and trying and trying. And <laughs> oh, the poor thing. <laughs> Like, I, I have this weird, I mean, maybe it's my, my mindset of this. I have this like weird mindset of like, I think I'm still thinking of like children. They're just like, Bill, Bill, please let me build. And they kind of like struggle and they just, you know, fall over and just, all right, I give up. Yeah. yeah um, we had, had a hard time working that one out. Now, I think a, these... a machine learning bot might actually do better in that situation if it's in the training mode. It might yeah. try a random other action. So, mm -hmm. whereas a scripted bot's going to be like, no, I have to build this thing. I have to build it, keep trying to build it. Um, and then it's, so it's not going to move on until it completes that step. Exactly. The machine learning bot goes, oh, that's not working. Do something else. Oh, that's working. I'll, I'll go down that path now. Now, a question from chat there, which uh, I, I know was a huge point of discussion. We touched on it earlier. But looking at this right now, the Zerg is getting up to 2,000. The Terran's at 7, 8, 9,000 uh, 11, 12, keep going. <laughs> 13. <laughs> whatever APM, uh, but you had mentioned for the Google project, and this was a discussion at the time, if it has infinite APM, it should eventually just be able to kill anyone. <laughs> but, but they're gonna, you're, you're saying they're trying to limit that though to a human achievable? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do it by, um, it's, I think it takes an action or it takes an observation and an action once every eight game steps, which I think they worked out is approximately 300 APM. Um, and you know, I. Excuse me? You can specify the, the duration between those steps. Exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm running some bots at 16 um, oh. steps, which is what, 150 APM, and they still do well because they don't need that level of granularity for what I'm doing. What is it doing with that, <laughs> like 18K <laughs> APM? Like, what is it, what is it, what is it doing? <laughs> if, if, you, apparently. if you follow, yeah. if, actually, if you look at what it's doing now, watch this Reaper. It's not picking a location far away, it's doing it every millimeter on the entire track. And 
uh, I've noticed that even when it's targeting other units, it does the same thing. And oh, man, this Terran has like the perfect stutter step. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas, Every unit is stutter stepping individually. <laughs> whereas there, the Zerg was doing the exact opposite. <laughs> it was playing keep away from the bunker. Oh, it, it, I yeah. see. Like each unit is stutter stepping there in their own way, which is. Did it learn that? Like, how how does it know to stutter step? Um, I, I think for this spot, that's programmed in. Um, oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. So now, like, we can see here, though, the Terran stutter step is good. Yeah. The Zerg, however, was just, it never attacked. Yeah, so, so, well, when they step back, the Zerg would lose vision, so. Yeah, OK, yeah. Wow, it, it's it, almost it, like cheating. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the Zerg bot is like, must keep moving, and the the, the Terran is like, oh, keep coming, so keep coming. This is a, that brings up another interesting question. So, and, and you had again touched on this earlier with, when you said, you know, one was given incentive to lower the army count. If you scout a building, the building stays there in the fog of war. If you go up and see an army, and then go back down the ramp, does the bot essentially think the army is gone? Does it have any capacity to remember that? It depends on how you program it. By default, it's going to go, oh, the army's gone. It's a good thing I ran away because the army's gone. Um, <laughs> but it, one, that's that's one of the tricky parts about this machine learning is giving it some element of memory. So um, some of the things that, that DeepMind did with the Atari stuff uh, was give it the last, I think, four frames um, so that it could go, well, because it, it, um, I think it had a pong bot where the ball was bouncing up and down and they just slid the thing uh, along underneath. And it didn't know whether the ball was traveling up or traveling down. Um, so they had to give it the last four frames right. to say, oh, this is the trajectory of that ball. So it was the same kind of thing. Well, I went in, the enemy was there. I moved away, my visibility went, the enemy disappeared. And it understands that that was a, the consequence of that action. It wasn't because it killed it, it's because it moved away and it lost visibility. So it right. depends on how you tune your bot. I think a question that some might have is like, how is, you know, how is this bot necessarily different than the actual bot already in StarCraft 2. Um, like, in terms of the bot, like, so, like the, the fact that a lot of the, the AI or the computer really in StarCraft 2 that you play against has knowledge of, you know, players' abilities and stuff like that. Like, what are some of the, the, the key differences in maybe decisions? So in this bot, um, you don't get visibility on anything you don't see. Um, that's part of the API, so you only see what you essentially would see on the mini-map or within the game. Oh. Um, so th there's no cheating, essentially, it, which is what the, uh, the the inbuilt AI does quite a lot. It just it just knows everything. It's like, I'm just aware. Yeah. 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 Have you ever played the insane AI and tried to cannon rush it? Out of oh, it knows. <laughs> it knows. It knows. It knows. Yeah, it knows. <laughs> it so, knows. Yeah. These bots won't have that. They'll just have um, knowledge of exactly what they can see. Ah, oh, I see. But yeah. Um, so apart from that, it's very similar in a certain way. But then um, we leave more room for kind of like learning and kind of like working out what your opponents are doing um, between matches, essentially. So, which uh, if you played if you played the inbuilt AI like twenty times, it would just kind of like go okay, I'm going to pick this strategy. And you'll like to have a certain set number of strategies there that will pick. Um, whereas you leave the possibility for these bots to just kind of like develop their own if they want to. Um, again, to figure it out. Yeah, it's, it's not something that's particularly well developed on the ladder at the moment, but we're getting there. What, what are some of the misconceptions that people have, like that you've talked to, like people who don't know anything about AI have about what you're doing? Um, so I, I think one of the biggest misconceptions is people think that we're a lot further along than we necessarily are. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, yeah, I mean, it, it's coming along at quite a rate, um, but we're still quite a long way from having like um, a, a, an AI beat someone at StarCraft of Grandmaster or win a world championship or whatever. Um, so th that's still quite a long way off, I think. Um, if, if you look at sort of like the games that have been beaten, I mean, we, we had Dota 2, which was, uh, they had a 1v1 bot that could beat the pros. And when you look at what that was doing, you had to play what a certain champion against a, a, a copy of that champion. It, you had to ban jungle creeps. You had to say, <laughs> you had to, 
so like limit the amount of items it could get and even then you know it would kind of like not win every time so there's, there's still a massive amount of complication there and we're still quite a long way from having a, a starcraft bot beat a, a grandmaster in a 1v1 i don't think that's going to happen probably not for a few years although i would like to be proved wrong i hope you i hope you're wrong i'd love to see innovation lose to his double uh. um, <laughs> <laughs> um wow this terran army is ridiculous um <laughs> i actually want to ask you guys as well your any, any misconception you have but i actually you brought up a really good point with the dota 2 um bot which i believe is elon musk's like yes bot yeah, version so. stuff like that yeah. is is there a di like you know is there a difference i guess really from say google DeepMind and elon musk's version of bot like is his more advanced more like capable or is deep mind for the lot like in your experiences and, and what you may or may not know uh, so i i can i'll take this one so the main difference in my opinion between deep mind and open ai which is elon musk's nonprofit profit research organization is generally the amount of um so um OpenAI has a bunch of has a bunch of community resources. Their OpenAI baselines, their gym, um, and, and they really and they really like the publicity because you know, it's Elon Musk. Whereas mm -hmm. DeepMind really likes to run in stealth mode until they get these fantastic results. Um, right. and, and so that's that's really the big difference between the two is um, community involvement um, when it comes to um, updates. Where, but I mean, they're, bo they're both they both produce fantastic work in the machine learning community. Um, yeah, I want to. I just want to say that. First of all, that that makes a lot of sense because it did. Like now that you meant, I didn't know during that Dota two thing that there were so many like criteria removed. Like yeah. it, was, it was a very showy. Like oh my god, my bot beat like Dende. Um, well, look at how amazing I. And I was amazed until just like ten minutes ago or a few seconds yeah. ago. So. Yes, yeah, also don't, the don't get me wrong. Like it's still a, it's still a big achievement. What they've done is amazing. It's still still like a great achievement. But there are still a lot of stuff that they, you know, as soon as they get a bot to win a five v five tournament, like I, I will be seriously impressed. So that's like the thing. Like yeah, I mean, because I, I'm gonna I guess like the the amount of, um, I guess mapping of decisions in a 5v5 is almost like in the same scope as maybe StarCraft, or is that an easier task, do you think? Uh, it's difficult to really put a kind of like- I know, that must be that. really hard. <laughs> um, I, I'd say that having a 5v5 Dota game is possibly more complex than StarCraft. Oh, as, okay. As, as, especially, and I don't know mm -hmm. whether they've ever considered this, imagine it had to be five different agents. Yeah. Yes. Oh sh snap! I didn't even I didn't even think about it. Like, it would... that, that's what I was thinking with. Cause yeah, because like... one one agent it's just controlling five units. I mean, when you think of this Dota one as impressive as it is, so it's microing one unit. And true. Af and after the event too, uh, they've now exploited the hell out of it. They can beat it. Like fifty players have beat it by exploiting it with a courier and some weird stuff. But yeah, imagine them trying to communicate with each other. I'd imagine that that okay. So yeah, I'm thinking about the, the idea that the, the agents all need to work together and figure out the ultimate strategy as a team. Yeah, would must it's be almost like, like Archon mode, and we've seen how well that works. <laughs> <laughs> One bot just like I won't move. I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided not to act. Or then it's the like, question is: Will the AI learn to yell at its own jungler? <laughs> I was just say, would it like spam mid or feed? <laughs> yeah. I, I'd be curious if it, it did depends that. on who's training it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why don't we jump into the second, um, the second uh, replay? Because I want to say that these replays have actually been super fascinating to see. Yeah. One um, thing I was going to mention at the the start of the last one, and unfortunately there's no Zerg in this one, is uh, I noticed that right at the beginning, things like overlords weren't going out to scout and. and oh. Can uh, I assume that's just a scripting decision? You could tell it to run a yeah. precise route or not. Uh, is there, uh, is that just a kind of oversight, or it, does it do it in that matchup or whatever? Um, I I think that's just an oversight on what's happening. Um, I'm not. Large, I, yeah, a large part of scouting is doing something with the scouting information, um, right. and so it would most likely the developer of that bot. 
wasn't ready to take on All the right. challenge of a decision tree of what he scouted. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, just responding in chat. I was hoping it would be like, yeah, I was, I was hoping it would have <laughs> it would have scouted and been yeah. like. He's, he said he, earlier too, it's uh, yeah, okay, he's writing scouting now. He also yeah. said it was made for ZVZ and it was playing ZVT. Yeah. I was hoping it would have said the optimum strategy is not to scout. Like I was hoping that would be it. like, <laughs> you don't need to scout. Like, All the like, information like, will like come if, to me. Like if you aren't going to adjust your strategy based on what you scout and there's no point in scouting. And why do it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You're just going to lose an overlord. Do we, <laughs> see, I, I hope that would actually be the decision tree it came to. It's like, why even scout? Well, we did an episode recently, like uh, several weeks ago, where real Zergs had decided to stop scouting Protoss because they were just going to lose their overlord. So yeah. even decisions like that can can be real. And you know exactly what's coming when you play a Protoss. Yeah, yeah. maybe it's like it's it's like it's calculated yeah. three. It's a calculated fifty mil options, and ninety percent of them are cheese. I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> not to scout. It's just yeah. like I'll prepare for the cheese. Um, do we all have the next replay loaded up? Yep, good to go. All right. Well, 